recently I've been working on a new video course called Guitar Chords and Strumming for Beginners. I wanted to make a theme track for the video that used a lot of the chords that I'm teaching in the course. And I also didn't want to spend a lot of time, so I used one of my favorite backing track creators, Jazz Lab. So in the program, the first step was to find a style that was good for strumming. Here's what I did to create a track. I went into and opened up an, a new song, and then, uh, you know, that's if I play that, it's going to be like this. That's not really a strumming song, so what I've done is I've gone in here, and um, I went to the Yamaha Standard Styles. The type of track I was looking for was was more like a, a, a pop and rock style with with um, you know some strumming. So so what you can do is if you click on the the directory button here, you can group all the pop and rock together. Another thing that you can do is click on the button, over, click on this little uh, speaker button over here. You can preview everything. So what I did was I, I scrolled down. I'm scrolling down right now with the arrow key. Okay, that's kind of a strummy one. Now this is the one. This I think this is the one I I used actually. So I picked that and then I put in my chords. Now the style itself reminded me of Jack and Diane, the John Mellencamp song. So that kind of influenced me to use a similar kind of uh, chord progression. So I put some chords similar to that. I started out with, with this G, D, C, G progression and then I thought well we need some other chords too. So I thought well we can, how about an A minor, put an A minor and uh, incidentally there is a little problem with inside of uh, Jazz Lab that uh, it, it can't do an A2 chord, it can't do an A sus2 because what it does, it, it puts the third in. So you can either put the third or or you can put, uh, if you actually do specify an A2, you find it's going to uh, play the major third. So you kind of have to, um, you know, I had to edit this out in, in the MIDI file. And I did contact uh, Jazz Lab and, the, and they confirmed that, uh, yeah, that's that's an issue. If you do use Jazz Lab, do send them a donation because that does help to fund this project. And, and uh, this is good software that, that really should be kept going and, and give them the support that they need. So here we are and I'm in, uh, so I just switched over to the, the chords that I put in previously. So I'm going to turn that one on with this button over here. Sometimes it doesn't respond. There we go. Now we should be able to play this one. Okay, so that's that. So to export that, what I did was I went over to File, Export to MIDI File. Since I've already done that, I'm not going to do it again, but that created me a MIDI file. So I went Save, and then I took this into Mixcraft. So the next thing I did is I opened up Mixcraft, and I grabbed my MIDI file, and I just dragged it into Mixcraft. What you end up with is all of the channels on a separate track. So, so if I go back to the beginning on this, and let's see how that plays. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now it's a little bit faster than I wanted. So since this is a MIDI file, I can just go here and I can just change that to a hundred. And let's see if that's a little bit better. Now the thing is, I didn't like the drums originally when they came in. For some reason, they were coming in not as as uh, drum beats, but they were coming in as you know some some kind of musical sounds. Interestingly, right now, now that I've soloed the drum track, if I play that, that's actually not bad. Um, you know, it's something I could work with. But I I have a drum program, and if I go in here and uh, I bring up my um, let's see what is this called. 
inside of contact I have I have uh, I actually have Abbey Road modern drama so let's just use the sparkle okay so a double click and uh, it's loading that one up right now all right so that came up all right so now we're in contact so let's just close that one and let's see if that let's see how that plays this track is now playing on contact and what I found was it didn't play you know I could have gone in in Mixcraft we can go to the sound and here's all of the here's all of the sounds you know it, it just it was not working for some reason and, and I didn't want to spend time to try and fix it so what I did was and I just deleted that and then I went into my uh, program and and I found some I found a suitable groove you know I just replaced it this is actually the backing track that I ended up with so I I put in my contact drummer over here uh, I, I dragged in a shuffle beat that I found and this is what I ended up with as a backing track so so I took this track and then I just sat down with the headphones and what I recorded is this So if you like this, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and then you can hear from me next time I post something. As always, try to stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.